What happens when you take the biggest content creator who mainly plays the crew, uh, me, and you put him with the biggest content creator on racing games to decently often play the crew, Black Panther, who's also gonna be in the crew in a week's time. You put them together on a podcast and you have them just talk about the game. Well, that's this, this video right here. Yes, I'm gonna take you boys in to me and Theo on the Stick Drift podcast, soon to be renamed, but it's a podcast out every single week for all things car, car culture, racing, racing games, and even motorsports. That is linked in the top of the description. If you wanna check out the podcast, it's on YouTube and Spotify. And that is what this section is from, but we talk about so much more, like Need for Speed, and, and we also go into like society, and there's two episodes, because we talked for like three we talked for like four hours so the discussion begins with talking about how the crew is really good with music licensing for streamers their streamer mode actually works but then we quickly talk about how it's surprising that that works but there's so many other things that don't work so this is that. The crew does uh, the Epidemic Sound playlist, which yeah, is... Uh, yeah. Which actually, I, I appreciate. You yeah. Know, I was kind of thinking about this the other day. I was like, yeah. I insanely appreciate that there's a streamer mode in one the One that crew. works, like, not like Forza. One that works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've been claimed many times by the Forza one. <laughs> uh, but the fact that there's a streamer mode, I, I was just kind of thinking like, how many people actually streamed this video? Right? Yeah, yeah. And but there's they that still did it. it. Yeah, yeah, they exactly. still did it. There's so, so many... It's really appreciated. There's a lot of things like that in the Crew Motor Fest. There's, there's some things that it's so opposite end. Because there's like part systems, rims, number plates. And I'm like, why didn't you update this? Why didn't this get an update? Why am I putting a motor core on an EV? What are you talking about? Like, um... But there's, there's that thing, or whatever. I don't know if a motocore is on an EV or not, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, I mean, uh, I'm, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but um, there's so many things that they didn't think about. But then it's like, the game is compatible with a plane steering wheel g game thing. Really? And yeah, yeah, that, like, that's a thing. I want to do that, but I'm like, am I going to pay 80 quid for a video that's going to make me 20 quid? Am I, I going to do that? <laughs> um, like, um, but uh it's like yeah they, they've got that they've got all these little details in all these little places they've got the one-to-one -one steering and that's and, and there's so many things that are just for the most specific of specific audiences and then there's so many things that are like why <laughs> why did this get overlooked the photo mode kind of actively sucks not gonna lie um uh it sort of has decayed in each game not like, yeah, like yeah. i only really knew the crew two's photo mode so i was like this is great but then I went back to the crew one and I was like, wait, this is better. Um, <laughs> we've we've lost things. And uh, yeah, so many things of uh, the livery system. Oh, God. Um, I tell you what, though. Motorfest, festival and whatnot. Would it be better? Hear me out. If it was still a... Okay, not a festival, but mm -hmm. an actual... I went to Santa Pod. And Santa Pod had like a layout thing. And it yeah. looked like I was looking like the looking at the main stage. It was like a yeah. little logo for Jap Show. And then you see Jap Show up here, here and there and whatever. One big thing that I hate so much is what if the car meat tent, which I despise and cannot care about for a second, looked like this? What if it had this atmosphere? Uh, for the audio listeners, the atmosphere of a parking lot car meet. A... Yeah. a just some kind of professional meet even if it's at like a santa pod right like a professional meet where they've opened an area and they're like hey go on there and put park your cars and voting for the custom show would be a lot cooler if you're walking through like you're walking through a car meet and then you vote for the cars as you go it is pretty like i i don't like that you spawn in the tent area it annoys me every single time you come to me that is not the place i want to be yeah yeah <laughs> i get what their intent was there that you can kind of it's a hub space you you, you load yeah. back in you pick on the board of what you're gonna do but i don't know i press circle when all of that's in the menu as leave. well every bit of yeah. that's in the pause menu i regret so much i used to say in the crew too every time i'd load into the street racing hq i'd be like oh god i have to run over to the summit i wish this was just a menu i wish i could just go into the street racing hq and then select the summit or select the store or select the whatever i take it back i take yeah, it back i i, I <laughs> i'm sorry i want a good well-made open space that i have to use that i that i have to actually I really, okay i want to go do the I summit missed. 
mm. making use of the space. Because yeah, yeah I, the car meet area, like it's a nice idea, but I think uh, like test drive, hey, I, I like test drive. Yeah. They should have kind of just gone with, you can go to a dealership to test drive that car, put the windows down, like experience the car. Yeah. That and then meeting other people doing the same thing. That's that's some big memories I have from test drive is going to the dealership with my friend because I'd saved up enough money to go and buy this car. And we both like check out the car at the location, like walk around it, see other people buying their like Ferraris in the background. Like that was super cool. But the car meet, I just don't get it. Like there's not mm -hmm. there's not much point for it. There's no point for it to exist. One thing I will say is why are racing games so afraid of voice chats? Because imagine this, and then you chuck in, like, um, some NPCs and whatnot, like groups of NPCs, but then you just hear two fellas talking about a car, uh, some some car that they're standing around talking to whatever about, right? Uh, like an actual calm atmosphere. I know I mean, it's probably because the, the controversy that can come from it, you know, people saying stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, and that's the thing. Moderation. Like, you could... And... You could... <laughs> spawn in there and some people are cod lobbies are still cod lobbies right yeah, like, exactly yeah uh, but there's a lot more like all voice chats are recorded these days yeah uh you can get someone banned super easily because it's all it's all safe they they know what you said yeah uh, i'm sure it just translates it to text and if it gets yeah, picked up and you said it, yeah. a certain word they'll watch over it and ban you pretty easily if, if yeah. that's the case so they could very much do something like that i wonder if it's really complicated in the because of the drop in drop out and also if you're yeah. having a conversation with someone and <laughs> the drop in drop and they yeah. just disappear yeah oh true yeah 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 <laughs> that would be like a really awful experience but i think about the crew I one get it yeah you know, something that bothers me is the um they obviously way, the way to interact is through the interaction menu that yeah. they have and it's the faces the the little smiley face that looks like Sackboy from Little Big Planet. I never understood why it looks like Sackboy from Little Big Planet. What's this? Um, <laughs> it's just in the crew when you you know the smiley faces, the like heart face, oh, and things like that. Oh, yes, the emotes, yeah. The emote they look like. Yeah, yeah, Little I get what you mean. Sackboy. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. They got that weird like. Yeah, they got the Sackboy jawline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Found it super interesting, but. Um, one thing I liked in Saint Needs to Be Unbound, they yeah. had an emote where it's got like a countdown. It just does a countdown Perfect. to three, yeah. two, one, go. Then you can like impromptu drag race with people. Yeah. Um, just kind of more interactions like that would be better for sure. Because you could be like, wanna race? Like, where's that? Where's that wanna race? <laughs> but they know that you can't Well, they really... got rid of that. That was in the crew too. There was a whole menu of that, like, uh, turn left, turn right, go forward, follow me, wanna race. What they didn't have was sorry. They never added sorry. So I'd ram yeah. into someone in PvP and I'd be like, I don't want them to think I'm terrible. I want to say sorry now. But they never added and a then, sorry. And then I used the uh, the crying I used the sad. Like, yeah. but, 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 but the sad, the, the, the actual crying one is like uh, uh, crying laughing or something. And I'm like, do they understand <laughs> that I'm not actually, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell you I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Like there's there's just there's better ways they could do it, and there's things like yeah. that that are sp sp all over the game, like Demo Royale. God, please update Demo Royale. I swear, please. That mode is good. That that oh. is deprived. It needs it needs more love. It's so if you actually play it like with your mates and you're having a laugh, it's actually so well done for a car battle royale. It bodies Forza's by miles. Oh, the Forza one is rubbish. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm surprised they haven't scrapped that yet. Like, I doubt that'll be in the next one. <laughs> but um, it's so well done. But w one thing I was thinking about earlier, but uh, I was going to mention, forgot to, is that while playing the crew one, because I started replaying it, I'm going to be smart about it. I've been replaying it, and then I'm going to upload those videos after the game shut down. Um, yeah. But uh, I've, I started replaying it, and one big thing I noticed is there is progression. Like, you start in Chicago, and you have to drive to New York if you want to go to New York. Or you can use the train system, or the plane system. There's a, there's progression. You can, you actually feel like, it makes it like, so when you go to New York for the first time, it's not just like, oh, I've already done like five races here. It's like, whoa, this, that's a different set of cities and buildings. Yep. And then you go yep. to Miami, and it's like, oh, whoa, this is a completely different set of cities and buildings. And then you go wherever. And I, it's gone. I get, mm. yeah, I, I get the, 
I, so one of the I understood the reduction in terms of the map. I think yes. they did a much better. Job. I'm sure you understand. The yeah. density of the map is much better than it was so previously. The quality they, is uh, level. The quality. Above. They they've done a really good job. The the but it, what you what you're saying is, to me, this is unfortunately. A for, the falsification of racing <laughs> yeah. games in general. Yeah, yeah. They they see that people really love the constant rewards that you get from Forza, and I, I, again, I that wasn't the case in the first Forza game. If you played the first Forza Horizon, um, it's good. The progression is good. You have to. I, you're driving around in like a little Volkswagen for most of the beginning of the game. Um, if you haven't tried it, you definitely should check it out, like a 360 emulator or whatever. But yeah. it, it holds up really well. If anything, I think the handling is better than it is now as well. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, in every kind of aspect, other than you can't drive across a field, but you know it's debatable mm. whether that you actually want to be able to do that. Yeah. And since then, it's just kind of reduced and reduced to the point where they throw things at you. And as much as i appreciate the idea behind the car import stuff in in my first, i think that damaged it yeah i don't want to go because on the game like i don't care I, besides certain stuff i would not have cared if i had to unlock stuff again yeah it didn't really bother me well that's how any game is any, because yeah i just yeah. assumed that like oh you know I'll, I'll jump in and i'll have to unlock my favorite cars again but once i get those i'm they're my favorite cars i'm yeah. gonna use those cars because most people, I highly doubt, except where they're you know, picking the new meta car or whatever. But most people that play the game, they get to the point where they've saved enough money for their favorite car, their dream car. Yeah. They buy it and they mostly use that throughout the whole game. Yep. Um, but I think the car import kind of ruined it. I, I get it. I, I know why they did it. Because yeah. people can pay real money for these cars and they would feel kind of robbed. Yeah, they couldn't yeah. keep using those cars they put the time and effort into it. especially like the fact that you have to grind out these stupid parts <laughs> yeah yeah as much like like i love the the game of grinding out stuff but the, the effort they put into those cars would be completely gone if the car import stuff was just just yep. non-existent yeah uh, to every level uh but it, it it does make me kind of think how the game would have been different if that import system wasn't there i would still be trying to grind out a lot more cars yeah but i i get it i get why they did it i think maybe a route for the future would probably be to reduce this and not do it into the level they did before but do it just like the summit reward cars or just the the special kind of cars yeah and the base cars you have to get again. That might be the best way to do it. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I wish there was an option just to import exclusive cars. I would yeah. have, and that's the one I would have done. The amount of videos I could have gotten of an actual progression, you know, people checking it. Oh, that's how many cars he owns now. Okay, buying, a, buying like 10 more cars and 10 more cars yeah. per episode. Like, there's, I, I, I wish that was a thing. Because that's one of the main things that made sense to me. Where I was like, okay, people will want their Summit cars. That's where I think the line should have probably like, been drawn. Do you think? So uh, obviously, uh, uh, the biggest game of next year, GTA Six. Yes. No question. When it comes to the online, mm -hmm. do you think Rockstar will even consider the idea of like, importing your profile from the previous game? Like, they, they, I, 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 they would have to have tripled the content in the game yeah. to consider yeah. it. Like that's the yeah. major thing: is that people transfer their cars. And then there's only like 11 new cars you could actually... Okay, I guess there was like close yeah. to 100. Or like, I think it was like 60 was the final number. But there's only like yeah. 60 or something new cars out of 600, right? It's like Rockstar would have to triple it. So even if you import, you still feel like you've got nothing. Like that's I, what I you just, need. I don't think they're going to do it for numerous reasons. But I don't, no, the not economy in GTA is awful <laughs> yeah. it is the worst gaming so if anything i kind of don't want them to Five bring that million across because dodge. if they want to redo the economy in gta 6 and like start again like cars uh, 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 a porsche uh, whatever a, a, a normal car yeah in the game should not cost five million dollars <laughs> yeah it just doesn't make any sense so if they need to redo the economy which i'm pretty damn sure they're going to you cannot allow an import pro because people will just go back to the old game and then they'll buy it in that game and then the it, it, it just it doesn't make sense and i don't want 
my character to move across. On a personal level, I don't want that because I would I want a new game. If I'm not the making crew... content on it, I would. Yeah. Like I I wouldn't transfer. Not not a chance. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I just I don't I don't see it happening, and I because ultimately they're gonna make more money if they don't allow the import process. Yeah. <laughs> Consider this as well, um, right? Crew one shut down. Yeah. Right. People are losing everything they had in that game. It's a lot easier to shut a game down if they're like, "Hey, fellas, it's the crew five. Remember those cars you bought in the crew two? You still got them. So you know you don't mind if we shut down the crew two, right?" I can, I can even see it. I can see it being like, hey, don't worry. All those cars you imported still come over. Hey, even if you've not imported your cars yet, don't worry. They'll still import. So Crew 2 might be gone, but all of your cars are still here if you buy the new game. Think about it. It, it, it adds up. And it sucks, but it adds it up. It does, and I, I hate it. Right? I hate it. I, one thing, uh, I just... Uh, I like starting over. Yeah. I like a fresh slate. Um, content or no content, I personally would... The, there's always a defining moment in a game for me where I unlock a skyline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I finally got here. We got, I was going to say, well, 50,000, but let's say realistic, 150,000. Yeah. <laughs> now I can buy my skyline again. And I'm like, I'm ha like that's the defining moment for everything. Yep. But... Now that I can import my cars in in Motorfest, yeah, I haven't touched the sky. I don't think I've driven the skyline once. Yeah, once. My 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 one maybe I'm gonna you know. Maybe I was gonna say you you're gonna get to win but... your skyline soon. <laughs> Do you know, I was kind of I was kind of discussing with them. Yeah. Um, I don't I can't remember exactly what you get the reward for. Yeah. But if it's a summit car. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. But that's okay. It's a cool car. Yes. And 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 I think a lot of people are gonna want it. What happens if that month I tank on the summit and I I don't care that would be very funny. Of all the cars to miss, I would demand them to add that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. The Wi-Fi's down that week. The, there's renovations uh, going on. You can't manage to get on. Everyone's busy. They can't go on your account. And you don't own the Black Panther Skyline. <laughs> I, I don't know how I would process that. I no. really... One so, thing... Yeah. Please, if you're watching, don't play. Don't unlock my car. <laughs> I don't One thing I did say, and I've been pitching this to them for ages, right? And they went above and beyond and have done this because new game. But one thing yeah. they could have done for like a billion years is, with anyone as well, create a bundles. So it's literally just like, go to a go to, go to you, me, even AR12 if they want to. Go to Goosiest, go to anyone and just go, hey, make a car in the game for yeah. vanities and make that car. And then just be like, or even give them like a test build. Uh, with every vanity and every car, right? If if they if it's like Goosey, it doesn't really have much, right? Go on, they make a car, a limit of four vanities, customization, livery, and then slap That's that in. Idea. Be like, hey, Black Panther bundle. Then you get a video being like, hey, go buy the bundle, and then they yep. get microtransaction, and then yep. everything yep. bloody everything goes and does the was the, 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 the whatever whatever. It, it's a good idea. It's a really good idea. They and should definitely do it. You'll they get that with um, the, the 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 summit. I, I imagine you're gonna you're gonna have a fun video with uh, my car or, or, or I'm in motor. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I'm so. so I tell you what, I, I, I'm 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 envious. I'm definitely envious. I it's a it's a, it's a sick thing to to be able to you cannon you you cannon in motorfest. Uh, that's that's great. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I never I never thought anything like that would would ever happen. Yeah, ever. yeah. Ever. Uh, but very, very sick thing. Um, I, yeah, I, I pitch a bunch of things to him. I, I'll tell you what. I, I, I wrote a 29-page yeah. goddamn um, <laughs> uh, PowerPoint slide thing just being like, hey, can you fix the game, please? <laughs> can, you, can you make playlists better, please? The, 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 big, the, big, the big thing that sucks is that I kind of like the idea of playlists, but it's like, yeah. It's just, it, it, there needs to be more of them. But um, 
not to just be a, a crew podcast, there's been big stuff going on with other games. Need for Speed.